Oxymoron is saying, opinion on the Kashmir files. I'm going to watch it soon with Susie. Me and Susie will watch it together, and you should be asking us this maybe next week. I'll try to watch it by next week. I'm not sure. I don't promise it. Uh, because I've been very busy. That's why I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Oxymoron is saying, in what ways do you think it's an inaccurate movie? I'm, 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 I'm it's, okay. You, you assume that I think it's an inaccurate movie, which is probably, <laughs> you're probably right. I haven't watched it yet, and I still, I think it was probably an inaccurate movie. So your assumptions about my assumptions are correct. <laughs> Oxymora knows me enough to know that that's probably will be my assumption. I mean, it's a propaganda piece. It has to be inaccurate by, you know, um, any reference to movie caused widespread violence against Muslim community across India, question mark. Oh, so is this is this you asking for cookies for not mm, for no acts of violence against Muslims? So you're you, are you trying to okay, oxymoron? Are you trying to make us notice that the Hindus did not? There was no okay, no, widespread, not just violence. Okay, so maybe maybe there was violence, but as long as there was no widespread violence against. Hey, how does it, why does this make me feel like there was violence against Muslim, but you still want a cookie for it because there was no widespread violence against Muslims? Okay, I don't know. I haven't looked into this. This is a Susanna question. You, you should post this question again next week for when Susanna is here because Susanna is a lot more uh, aware of what's happening right now in India than me. Okay, but do you do you do you want do you want a recognition of the fact that there was no widespread violence even if there was violence against muslim because that's a very low st if that's what you're asking that's a very low standard like hey guys there was a movie there was a movie there was a propaganda piece against muslims in india and guess what no widespread violence against muslims yay amazing hindus that no no widespread violence against muslims this is what we recognize <laughs> this is what we recognize as an accomplishment these days <laughs> god damn it and maybe 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 there's only cause for violence against muslims but no actual widespread violence to muslims so do you want like hey we, we call that for violence i mean yeah oh it was actually i think it was for susan okay sorry we will we will post this exact same question again next week and Susanna will answer it. And, and by then we will both have watched the Catch Me Files. As far as, okay, so the question continues. As far as I am aware, Hindu pundits started getting killed in K Valley after this and two Hindus were killed by Muslims, by Muslim mob for approaching theater to watch the movie. Okay, so... You want you? I don't know if this is true, so I need Susanna to fact check this. Okay, <laughs> Aksimar is saying if this question was for Susanna. You won't understand. She's better. Okay, you're right. Okay, especially about this this stuff. Susanna is definitely better than me when it comes to answering these questions and stuff like this. But I'm still gonna answer it anyways. Um, I don't know if this second part is true. Okay, but. I just, I'm just so concerned, Oxymoron, about your attempt of. Okay, to me, sometimes it's, it's, it seems that you want to say things that collectively holds the community responsible for something like this by constantly giving examples of individuals doing so. Like, for example, I don't know if you've noticed this. I, I sometimes worry if I'm doing that about Muslims and Hindus, right? So every time when I'm covering the news, you see, like when I say, like, "Oh, this happened, this happened." Okay, if I ever think like our news news story is going to give the expression, if I ever get reminded that our audience might think like Hindus are collectively this, this, or that, okay, then I always, even though you guys get tired of it because I say so much, I say like, "By the way, this is this, these people." Um, the vast majority of Hindus are amazing, good people. Like, please don't take this new story as a way to come up with a collective um, understanding of how Hindus or Muslims or Christians or Jewish people or anyone else's, right? Um, 
And I sometimes fail. Sometimes, like when I'm listening to our news coverage, I'm like, "Oh my God, that story! The way that we covered that story, some people might come up with that in impression." And I should have been said, like, I should have added and not all somewhere in that story, right? But I think like you are not as careful because maybe you don't even think like that. You do think about Muslims collectively, and you constantly come up with examples um, without. And you, I, and I'm not saying we shouldn't highlight these examples. These are examples that are bad and they're motivated through religious identity. Okay, so they should be called out. Okay, but they should they should be called out because of what certain ideas are making how certain people operate, not because we are seeing the whole collective itself as a problem. Okay, and I want you to invite you to first of all, you yourself not see a collective Muslims collectively. Uh, as bad, but also to be mindful of how you speak of individual Muslims who have done wrong, bad things. Be mindful of how you talk about it and how you describe it. Uh, in a, try to be more careful about what what are you trying to what what it, what would people see that as? How would people interpret that as? Right? Because, like for example, the, even within this question that you typed here. Um, it's obviously a pro-Hindu, anti-Muslim stance, okay? You know that I can go find examples of Hindus doing horrible things in the name of Hinduism, okay? And you know I could do the opposite. I could go find examples of Hindus doing amazing things um, to try to to fight against that even. I, there are Hindus who are fighting caste, uh, the caste system. There are Hindus who are trying to bring peace up, bring between Muslims and Hindus. And I could do that with Muslims as well. I could find examples of horrible things. I could find examples of great things. Okay. The, what we're doing here, what me and Susanna is doing, is that when we find examples of horrible things, we want to see where what ideas are responsible for it rather than trying to um, attribute that to the a whole community, and then everybody else to, that is a member of that community to find them guilty by association. Okay, and when you put, when you see the one side of things, when you see the good in one community and the bad in another, right? You're not making this about fighting for good ideas against bad ideas. What you're doing is you're holding two. You're trying to put two communities against each other as a whole, and that's a dangerous thing to do. Okay. D is saying, I try and take uh, any possible biased language out of our news. Oh, thank you, D. No, oh, thank you so much, D. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.